What is up guys? Back for another one and today uh, I'm gonna attempt to uh, press all the bushings out of this. Uh, I know I said that I was gonna have it done. I actually went and talked to the local Napa and they said they would do it but uh, I feel like I owe it to myself to at least give it a try since I spent all the money on this fucking press. So let's uh, get it set up and go ahead and give it a shot. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to find a socket that fits just around that ring and doesn't actually touch the knuckle, but just goes right around the outside edge like that, which I think that one's going to be perfect. Then I'm going to have to kind of wedge some stuff underneath it to get it because that thing, the angle of that thing to get it to set just right. So let me get that all set up. Alright guys, so as you can see... Uh, just kind of stacked those things up on the side and then had to use like a little bolt here, but here we go. Let's see if it works. I'm not sure what's happening here, but. <gasps> it's working! Yes! Might have to try to get higher up near though, because it's gonna it's about to catch on that. Yep. So somehow I have to figure out how to get it back up there, but that's awesome, man. So let me figure something out here real quick. Shit. <laughs> so there we go, guys. One of them out. Nice. Sweet. So let me go ahead and set it up and uh, try to get out these other ones too, man. All right, guys. So, man, the other side was a lot trickier. As you can see, I got all kinds of stuff set up in there to hold this thing while I press this one out. It's working, though. It's coming out. But I'm going to have to move this thing and come out with something to... Once I get it so far here, I'm not going to be able to go so far. Right there. I'm going to have to figure something else out. So yeah, slowly but surely, man. Alrighty, guys. Just got that one out. Awesome. Now, uh, one way, I was sitting here wondering, I was like, well, shit, I need to know about the other ones, you know. How do I know whether it's pressed in one way or pressed out the other way or whatever? And uh, I went through and looked. Now, as long as you're looking at these with this indention being in, consider this the inside. So meaning this will be inside, this will be inside, this will be inside, this will be inside, okay? So that means everything from inside gets pressed out, pressed out, pressed out, pressed out, you get it. Then, to press in, you would go press in, press in, press in, press in. That easy. So, now let's move on to one of these. Alrighty guys, oh my god, this one was a nightmare. And this is the position of it is just so awkward. But I think she she's coming out. Give me one second here. Alright, now I got the camera set up a lot better. So there we go. Two down, man. Go ahead and get the other. All right, guys. After having the knowledge from the other one, this side is definitely a million times easier. It's actually only took me about two minutes. out I'm gonna have to move this thing up because I maxed it out alrighty guys it's got that bushing out four down four to go now if you guys can see this this was by far the toughest man literally have to set on this one 
and then pressing out this. trick under my sleeve the other one should be a lot easier alrighty guys all right so definitely a lot faster this round now I know what I'm doing Each one is a new learning experience. And there's that one. Alrighty guys, we are close. Didn't think I was gonna make it this far, and this one actually is going to be the toughest one. Because as you can see, to get to it, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one because of where it's at, but I'm still gonna give it a try. So Alright now, because of this this last one has to be pushed out, and as you can see, it's not gonna happen. But because of that, I came up with an idea that I, well, I'll just find out where. So my plan is take one of these bolts, a couple washers here, put them on like that, and run that into that. Through that, so now you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. And then on the other side, basically I just need like a, a cup, like a receiving cup, which I just happen to have these. Just need to shorten it down like that. And uh, I'll cut it down and then I'll put the other washers on the end of this. And then uh, what will happen is as I'm pulling it, it uh, I'll hold this one over here still and tighten this one and as I tighten this it'll draw this through and pull it out at least it should so uh, let me cut this pipe and see what happens all right guys so the problem I ran into was uh, this thing obviously isn't gonna fit this big ass receiving cup but I happened to find this little contraption that fits it perfect so Should work now. Should. So, there's the setup. I just gotta torque it and, uh, well, we'll see if it's gonna work or not. Alrighty, guys, so the issue I was having before was uh, with the cup on the end, I was using this thing right here because it's the only thing I could find, and as you can see, it just it wasn't gonna work. There's no way. But, had the idea to go to the house and grab this seal driver set. So, what I think I'm going to do is just take it like this, put it on there like that, and put this on here, and then try that. So, let's give her a whirl, man. Alrighty, so I actually took a smaller one of these and actually got it to fit. cut it and shorten or anything. Right there we go. All 
Alrighty, so this is it guys. Let's give it a whirl. Alrighty guys, gonna roll with the impact on this one, so... Let's uh, see what happens. And it's working, it's working. Believe I'm gonna need a deep well. Alrighty, deep well, Let's see if we can finish getting this out of there. Come on! Oh, I kind of expected it to happen once it got past that little lip right there. I'm gonna have to hold it for a minute. Come on now. Alrighty guys, so I got as far as I could. Unfortunately, the bolts only handle so much and they just keep stripping. But once I got it so far, I was able to beat the shit out of it and got her out of there. Good to go. So that one is done officially. Awesome. Alrighty, guys. Uh, took some doings, but uh, I went ahead and got two more bolts and uh, got the other side out as well. So everything is stripped. So, my plan now is, here's all the old bushings, trash. So, what I need to do is, uh, tomorrow I'll go out, press in all the new bushings, except one. And the reason why is that it was that one, man, it was just, it's such a pain. It's this one right here. And it's because you can't access it uh, from up here or... You know, to press it out, I needed to be this way, and then to press it in, I'll be this way. So, actually, all right, guys. So, anyways, um, I'm sitting here thinking about it now. I couldn't get this with a press because obviously this thing's right here is in the way. Like, um, so you guys seen the little apparatus thing I had? Anyways, now that that's out, I'll be able to actually press this back in because I'll have full access to it because I can have it right up top. So. Hell yeah. Now the only issue I'm having that I'm not, I'm just not going to be able to do these myself. And that's these arms. And, uh, well, reason being, it's weird how if you notice this one's pressed in from the outside and this one's pressed from the inside. So I could get that one right there with the press, I can get that one out, but I wouldn't be able to get the other one back in. Same scenario with this, I couldn't get it out, but I get it back in, and the thing is, is the trick with the, uh, that I was using before, uh, with the impact, it's not gonna work, because how am I supposed to get an impact in here? So this would actually more than likely be something that needs to be done with like a big vice type clamp or whatever, and I'm sure, since it's brand new and everything, it would be so much easier to just let Napa do their thing with these. That's not a big deal. And I may, may, I'm not sure yet, have to have them do the uh, the ball joints on the front. I don't know until I get the front disassembled, but that's that's uh, a little ways down the road. So, uh, yeah, if uh, you guys stay tuned, uh, tomorrow I'll be going out and repressing all these, and then uh, that'll be done. Get the get those pressed this week by Napa sometime, and then I can start reassembling the whole ass end, getting it ready for the axles, and then I can go ahead and take apart the whole front end and start doing all those bushings. So yeah, I'm pumped, man. I can't believe I was able to get all those out. Those ones were pain in the ass, but it should be smooth sailing getting them all back in, man. So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap this up, man. You guys like the video? 
smash that thumbs up, man. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want to subscribe for more content, and uh, peace!